Hello everyone, I'm ex-professional football player Steve Montagna, and today I'm gonna tell you about my new product, the Mega Bear. What are y'all doing? We're trying to film an infomercial. I'd appreciate it if you leave. Well, what's your product? It's a Mega Bear. Well, can I have one? Yes, if you'll be quiet. Yes. All right, thanks. Y'all ready? Let's try this again. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Montagna, and today I'm gonna tell you about my new product, the Mega Bear. Do you wanna be bigger, faster, stronger, and more attractive? Then you need to try the Mega Bear. Just one Mega Bear contains every supplement known to man, has 5,000 grams of protein, full of testosterone, and even my own sweat, so you know it's good. There's chemicals in here that I've never heard of, and I'm pretty sure I've never even been tested. Consume Mega Bear responsibly, only one bite a day. If you overconsume Mega Bear, be sure and contact a physician and poison control. Side effects from overconsuming Mega Bear may include heart failure, lung failure, colon failure, kidney failure, liver failure, total body failure, death, but the most common side effect from overconsuming is hallucinations. Get your Mega Bear today for just five easy payments of $99.99. Call 1-800-555-5555. All right, that's a wrap, guys. I think that turned out really good. What did you think, man? Hey, uh, you don't look so good. Where's your Mega Bear? I ate it. You ate the whole Mega Bear? <sighs> You're not looking too good, man. You want me to call an ambulance? Hey, hey, man, you gonna be all right? What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some fun with not one, but two elephant guns. The 458 lot and the 500 Nitro Express. And I'm gonna shoot something you've requested, giant gummy bears. This is a five pound gummy bear and I found out over the summer that three of these will stop a 500 Magnum. Well today we're gonna see how many it takes to stop an elephant gun. I have several set up over there. Let's go check them out and get Get started. So here's what we got. I have 10 five pound gummy bears, 50 pounds of gummy bear. Three of them stopped the 500 Magnum, so I'm hoping 10 is enough to stop an elephant gun. I forgot the table in the last video, so I went and picked up a brand new table. Not cheap. I spent a lot of money on tables, and these gummy bears weren't exactly cheap. Which brings me to something I wanna address with you all. I know that sponsorships are kind of annoying sometimes, and I feel like I got a lot of heat from you guys in the last video because I did a raid sponsorship. Well, sponsors are really, really important to not just this channel, but all channels. These videos are not cheap to make, and we love making free content for you, so I'm very, very thankful for sponsors that allow us to keep making content. I know it can be annoying sometimes doing a sponsor in every video, but without them, we can't keep going. So I just wanted to be crystal clear with you and let you understand why I do sponsorships, and that's so that we can afford cool videos like this. So on that note, a big thank you to no one. Don't skip, I, there's no sponsor in today's video. We're just gonna have some fun and shoot these gummy bears. Okay, let's start out with the smaller of the two elephant rifles, just slightly smaller. This is the CZ 550 elephant rifle and it's chambered in 458 lot. And I'm gonna be using a Hornady DGX 500 grain round and this is lead based. I'm gonna guess seven. It's gonna go through seven gummy bears and stop in number eight. You wanna kick like a mule Those didn't move very much, and I'm kind of surprised. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> Went through the first gummy bear. Wow, there's already a piece of jacket on the first gummy bear. Gummy bear number two, number three, number four, number five. Okay, well, I think we stopped in number four. I bet you I can get that out. This gummy bear, it's melted, or this thing is so hot. I'm just gonna push it back to the front. Don't. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. 
I think I got better expansion out of the gummy bears than I did in ballistic gel. Now let's step it up a notch. This is my double barrel 500 Nitro Express, and I'm gonna be using the same round, but it's a little bit bigger. Again, this is a Hornady DGX, but instead of 500 grains, this time we have 570 grains. The 458 lot went through three gummy bears and stopped in number four. What do you think is gonna happen this time? I think it's gonna go through number four and stop at number five. Oh. That definitely smacked those gummy bears a little harder that time. Okay, so here's gummy bear number one. And I did not account for how close I was. I was aiming right here, but the right barrel is what went off. Hopefully, that's a big piece of jacket. Hopefully, we caught the round. Gummy bear number two, number three, we went through. Number four, went through number four, and here's number five, and it looks like the round is right there. So I was right. We made it through four gummy bears and stopped in number five. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is such a big chunk of lead and that is still really, really warm. <laughs> so now we're gonna step back down to the 458 lot, but this time I'm gonna use a Nosler 500 grain brass solid. This should not expand and should penetrate much deeper. We made it through three and stopped in number four with the lead round. How many do you think this brass round is gonna make it through. I'm gonna go with seven. It's gonna go through seven bears and stop at number eight. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. I'm going with seven. Here we go. Okay. Um. Looks like seven was wrong. I'm gonna say that was all 10. Okay, so I believe we hit right there with the brass round. Zipped right through it and it looks like we just, oh, focus camera, just kept zipping. Oh yeah, right there. Just melted that gummy bear. Kept going, oh, we may have tumbled a little bit. Yeah, just a little. And then we moved down here. Kept going, kept going. Came out the back there and then hit right there. It's just leaving a tiny hole. It's not expanding at all. And then hit the very bottom of this last gummy bear that I was wanting to save. That's why I kept it in the wrapper. Oh gosh. We destroyed our brick. Busted all over my gummy bear. So if 458 lot can make it through all 10 gummy bears, I know that the 500 Nitro Express can make it through all 10. There's really no point in shooting them, but we're gonna shoot them anyway. So again, I have the same round. This is a Nosler brass solid, but this time it's in 500 Nitro Express and it's 570 grains rather than 500 grains. This time I'll compensate for uh, using the right barrel. I'll aim to the left a little bit. Yep, we definitely went through all 10 gummy bears. Where did we hit? I can't tell. Is it there? I may have hit right in the middle again, I'm not sure. <laughs> I aimed a little to the left, so that would make sense. We'll be able to tell on these back here. Ah, yeah, I hit right in the middle. It was just hard to tell because I was kind of going through the same spot twice on a few of those gummy bears. So that's where we hit. We 
kept going. I gave them all new belly buttons. <laughs> kept going. Looks like we kind of hit that one maybe sideways a little bit. Whoa! Check that out. <laughs> okay, so I was right. It looks like it started to go sideways. Then it slides through gummy bear number 10, kind of sideways. And then it smacked that cinder block sideways, but the gummy bear managed to keep that round inside it. <laughs> I can't believe we caught that. That's pretty much undamaged. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we used the 500 Nitro Express anyways. We get the same results. They both went through all 10 gummy bears, but it seems like the 500 Nitro started to tumble there towards the end. sneak peek for you. It's been a while since I've used the pine board box. To be honest with you, I kind of jacked it up when I shot it with the 50 BMG. A lot of you have requested to see both elephant rifles versus the pine board box. So I broke it out, dusted it off, put all new boards in it, and here soon I'm going to hit it with both rifles. Keep your eyes peeled for that video. If you enjoyed my videos here at Kentucky Ballistics, you're also going to enjoy my videos on Kentucky Customs. I have some really really awesome stuff planned for that channel. You need to go ahead and get subscribed. Use the link in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time.